Hello and welcome to this week's tutorial. Here I want to make our running turkey example from last week even better. Check this out. We, we now have turkeys that peek out before we have our turkey run across the screen. And I'm going to show you how to make this work even if you don't know anything about coding or VBA or anything like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take the code that we made last week and change it so that you can do things like this. Make your shapes pop up out of the corner and the sides like this and change it to, well, make your worksheet a bit more fun and interesting and crazy. And I'll also cover using pictures instead of just shapes for this, which is very, very easy to do. And if you didn't see last week's tutorial, how this works is that you can set it up to only run on specific worksheets. So if we go back to the empty worksheet, nothing is going to run because we don't have any turkeys here. Now, before we begin, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you can get all of my new tutorials. Now, let's go with how do you make this guy work if you want to download this workbook and just add a worksheet and have some turkeys appear. Or if, like I'm going to show you in a moment, if you want to get the code out of this workbook and put it in your own workbook, how do you get the turkeys as well? So what you can do is start with a blank worksheet and then you first need to, well, add the turkeys. So we go to the insert menu or the insert tab and then we go to illustrations and we choose either pictures or icons. It does not matter which one you choose. However, if you choose a picture, make sure it's not too big. Otherwise, the code won't run so well and it'll be very jittery and it just won't look that good. But you can use pictures exactly how we're going to use icons. Once we insert it into the worksheet, every step after that is going to be the same. So I'm going to use an icon here and just search for turkey. But you can choose whichever icon you want. And let's make it look a little bit more turkey-esque. And we have three turkeys that we need. So click this guy, control C, then control V, control V. And now we have three turkeys. And in order to get our turkeys to come to life, we must name them. And we shall go up here to the left name box and name it Turkey Jim. Hit enter. Then we shall name this one Turkey Joe, hit enter, and name this one Turkey Bob, and hit enter. And they must be those three names, Turkey Joe, Turkey Bob, and Turkey Jim. If you wait around to see how we program this, you can change those names. But if you don't want to do that, just Turkey Joe, Jim, and Bob. <laughs> and what we need to do is to grab Turkey Bob and turn him on his side. So Turkey Bob is going to be the one that sticks out from the side like this. So we need to make it look like that beforehand. And now we have all that we need and we are ready to test it out. But what I wanna to do to make it look just a little bit nicer the first time that it runs is to hide these guys. So go to the Home tab, Find and Select Selection Pane or it may be a little bit easier, page layout, selection pane. It's the same thing. And we're gonna click the eye to turn all three of our turkeys off. Then close this window, go to, let's add a new sheet that has no turkeys on it, so sheet two, then come back to empty. And we have some sneaky turkeys. <laughs> So all you have to do is to add those three turkeys, position Bob correctly, and you're good to go. And the turkeys are not here in the worksheet, by the way. They are hidden. But if you ever want to see them again, selection pane and bring them all back and zoom out. And this is where the macros left them. So all you have to do is to download this workbook, add a new worksheet, add three turkeys, and name those three turkeys. Turkey Jim, Joe, and Bob. Now let's go to the code and let me show you what you need if you want to just take this code and put it into an existing workbook. So hit Alt F11 and what you want to do is to double click module one, then hit control or click in here and hit control A and then copy all of this code. Then go to your workbook, 
and on the same screen go to insert module and paste all of that code into here so just literally this copy and paste then go to this workbook and copy all of this and go to your workbook and double click this workbook it's going to be there always so double click it and paste all of this in or if you already have a workbook sheet activate event then just paste in turkey manager that's the name of the macro that's going to manage everything so if you do that you don't need to change any code whatsoever you don't need to learn vba you don't need to make your life difficult at all and if that's the case then you are done you don't need to watch the rest of this tutorial but please give it a thumbs up a like a subscribe and hit the bell icon and <laughs> share it with your coworkers so that everybody can see this and have fun with it it really is a lot of fun but now for everyone else, I'm going to go over the code changes that we need to make from last week's tutorial to get this guy to work. And if you download this tutorial, by the way, you're going to see a couple links at the top. One of these, this YouTube link, is the first tutorial I made where I explain the code in a lot more detail, and we actually code it from scratch. This link, which has not been added yet, it's going to be for this tutorial here. So if you download this file, you're always going to have access, very easy access, to how to get everything to work. So let us go back to module one and go to the top. And I'm going to go ahead and remove module two. And we do not need to export it. And first, let's go take a look at what we did last time. So last time we made run turkey run. Now for this tutorial, I did not change a single thing for run turkey run. Everything is exactly as it was last time. These are just the comments that I have in the downloadable file. And below that we have the delay function, which I guess it could be a sub, but that's okay for now. And just some additional notes there, but everything is the same. So, one thing to remember, if you want to rename your turkeys, the one that's going to run is Turkey Jim. You could rename it right here, and then you have to rename it in the worksheets. I don't think it's necessary, but if you want to do that, you can do that right here. And what I did for the other two turkeys is to copy run turkey run and make a few changes. So let's check those out. We have separate macros. Even though there's a lot of repeated code, it's going to make it easier for people who aren't you know, too familiar with VBA, and it's a fun macro, who cares? So peekaboo turkey side, <laughs> that's the one that comes out of the side. And then we have uh, peekaboo turkey bottom, the turkey that comes up from the bottom. And I have a list of the changes that were made here, just in case you watched all of last week's tutorial and you want a little reference for what was done. But let's go down here and I will show you them. So I added two additional variables for measurements. It'll make it easier to position everything. Bottom of screen and right of screen. And I added these to both peekaboo macros. And we just get their value right here, bottom of screen and right of screen. And it's very simple. Top of screen plus height of screen and left of screen plus width of screen. Nothing magical there. It just makes what we're going to do down here a little bit easier. We have Turkey Joe right here, so the name of the other turkey. Then pretty much the only other change is everything within the with block. Oh, I also changed the turkey variable. So instead of it being Turkey Jim, it's now a generic turkey. So you can more easily copy and paste this macro to add another turkey and not be confused by the name of that variable. But all the stuff down here is just for positioning. So for the left of this turkey, the one that goes on the bottom, we're going to put it on the left side of the screen, except for offset it by 50, so it's a little bit to the right. The top of this, so this turkey, will be the bottom of the screen so that we can't see it. Then we make it visible. Then we do a nice little loop where we go, if the turkey's top is a less than the bottom of the screen minus 60, then we run the loop. Now, what does that mean? Well, the bottom of the screen, let's say, is 500. It could be something like that for this size screen. And minus 60 is 500 minus 60, which will be 440, and it will go up. So if you want your turkey to go higher, 
you will make this number higher. And instead of incrementing left, which is what we did for the running turkey, we are going to increment top here. So we increment the turkey's top position minus five each time this loop runs. So that will gently bump the turkey up by five every time the loop runs. Then we have our regular delay. And we have another delay to kind of pause the turkey when it's on the screen. And then we're going to make the turkey disappear. So we just run this loop until the top value of the turkey is now greater than or equal to the bottom of the screen. So the top value of the turkey will be something like right here, and then we just push it down. And we do that using increment top but plus 5 this time, instead of the minus 5 that we had in the last one. So we have two do until loops this time, and we just change a little bit of the measurements that we're going to be using. And then at the very end, we hide the turkey. And in last week's tutorial, when we coded everything out, I did forget to put that in there. But it is at the end, all the way down here. It is in run turkey run right there. So once you finish the loop, just hide the turkey. And that's just so that the shape isn't stuck on the screen. So that when you move the window, when you move the cells or zoom out, you're not going to see a turkey and wonder why there's a turkey there. <laughs> so... That was peekaboo turkey bottom, I believe, yes. And now let's go down to peekaboo turkey side. It's going to run almost exactly like bottom, except for instead of pushing the guy up and down, we push him left and right. So we made a generic turkey variable this time, instead of turkey gym, we had a bottom of screen and right of screen. Now we only use one of these for each of the peekaboo macros. So for bottom of screen, that was used in the last one. Right of screen is used here. But I left all of these measurements in a little bit of extra code just so that when you copy and paste this and you're making your turkeys, you've got some additional features that you can use without having to add these lines of code. So just to make it a little bit easier. So bottom of screen, right of screen, they're made right here with top of screen plus height and left of plus width. Easy peasy. And then we have Turkey Bob, the name of our turkey. And down here, our with block. And this time we set the left of our turkey to the right of the screen, so it will be hidden. And we set the top of the turkey to the top of the screen plus 50, so it will be pushed down 50. That way it won't be all the way at the top. Then we make it visible, and then we run our two loops. This one's going to be run until the left of the turkey is less than the right side of the screen minus 80. So the right side of the screen minus 80. So that's going to push them on the screen. You want it to go more on the screen, make that number bigger. Sometimes it doesn't work like an exact science for your shapes, especially depending on if you have extra space around them. So you may have to play with these numbers. So this one right here and this one right here and the same for the other macros. But once we are pushing our turkey on screen, we use the increment left and then we push it to the left five. So minus five. So it will go one, two, three, as many times as we need to go until the left position is less than this. And we delay it down here so it doesn't happen instantaneously. Then we have a little delay when the turkey's on the screen once again, and then we just push it to the right. So we use the left property of our turkey, and we say, hey, I want you to run this until the left of my turkey is greater than or equal to the right of the screen. So until we have pushed the turkey all the way off. And we use increment left, but this time plus 5. And delay 40. And visible MSO false. So we hide the turkey when we are done. But let us see what else we added here. So those are the two macros. Copy and paste them if you want and add as many turkeys as you want. It's really not that difficult to do and it's kind of fun to play around with. Just don't forget to rename them if you add new ones. And up here at the top, we have a nice little manager, the turkey manager. And we use this so that we can figure out how we want it to run. So here first, I want a peekaboo turkey from the bottom. Then I want to stop for five seconds to confuse the user so they think, hmm, what just happened? Then we're going to show them a turkey from the side, 
<laughs> and then we're going to pause a little bit and then have the turkey run across the screen. And what the turkey manager allows you to do is to change the order of how this is going to work, to change the delay here, to change all of those things. And anywhere that you see delay in this module, you can play around with that number to change how it's going to affect your worksheet. And it can make it more funny, but also sometimes it can make it so it doesn't work so well with the timing. So you can play around with those and see how they work for you. But I think this one is kind of funny. So the turkey manager is a great way to manage how this works. And if you add additional turkeys, just call the macros down here. So these are all the names of the macros. And sometimes you're going to see it written like this, call and then the name of the macro. But in this case, it doesn't matter. You can have call on it or you can leave it off like I had here. It doesn't matter. But we have finished our turkey manager and let's wrap it up with this workbook. So turkey manager is called turkey manager. Then you just go to uh, this workbook. And if you don't have this guy right here, click the drop down menu, select workbook, and then go to the right and select sheet activate. These are events. They run when these things happen. So when a sheet is activated or deleted or many, many, many other things here. We want the sheet to activate event, and it's this guy right here. It'll appear when you select it from the right, and then just put Turkey Manager in there. That means that any time that we activate a worksheet, the Turkey Manager will be called. And believe it or not, that is it. Once you do that, then all that you have to do, because of some things that I explained in the last tutorial that are particular to the coding, all you have to do to get it to run is to go to any worksheet in your workbook and add some turkeys. That's it. And then the next time that you go to that worksheet, your turkeys will do their thing. <laughs> so this is a Run Turkey Run, the Turkeys Everywhere edition, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get all of my tutorials in the future. And don't forget to download this file from teachexcel.com.